One bright summer morning in mid to late June, our President Trump was holding a spoon. He was dining on soup at the great dinner table with his fair wife Melania and his sons Cain and Abel. Who these two children were was a mystery to them all. They just shown up one day and proceeded to call the Trump couple their parents, though odd, yes it seems. Their coming was foreshadowed by one of Trump's dreams. My dear children, Trump said with a saccharine grin. You seem to be getting uncommonly thin. Please, eat up your soup so your muscles get huge. I don't want to resort to any food subterfuge. I don't want to eat soup. Kane replied with great force. I'd rather eat chocolate, please. Make it recourse. How rude of a thing to demand, I must say. Said our dear Donald Trump, though he gave the okay. And when Kane was quite finished with stuffing his face, he and Abel returned to their planet in space. Once Melania had retired to her chamber upstairs, Donald rapped on the wall in a passion of squares. A door opened up to a room filled with toys, though not ones that you'd give to small girls or small boys. On a bed in the center lay one young Toby Fox. He looked up from his book and he tossed back his locks. Hello, my dear Donald. How was dinner today? Not great, I confess, though I do have to say. Cain's aversion to food that would improve his health is disturbing to me. It's a symptom of wealth. That's very astute of you, Donald, dear sir. I most definitely agree. I approve. I concur. Now come take a seat here next to me on our bed. I'll make you feel better by giving you head. But before Trump could take a step forward, just then, a shitty young boy interrupted their zen. As he entered the room and he pointed at Trump, I'm ready to fight, you plump, grumpy lump. Oh god, Andrew Hussey, what have you created? Oh, has gone much too far with his spadge lust unsated. Now listen up, Chahan, if you want to hurt Don, you must go through me first. Come at me, you prawn. This is what people do before raps, right? S L A B. Let's do this. Yo, my name's Toby Fox. Please don't call me radiation. I create the nut shack and I made up snow elation. I'll clear one thing up now. I'm not O, I'm his ex. But now Trump's the only person with whom I'll have sex I dedicated my life to creating awesome tunes My OSP is better than Earthbounds and Roller Coaster Tycoon Andrew Hussey's little hive swap is nothing to my two games But first Undertale then sequel set my world into flames I shed blood, sweat, and tears to make it out of depression And now I come back to my lover's recession Donald baby, I still love you but a great depression Jeez, anyway I need some cash so buy my games please Still going Riding that pebbles tree. <laughs> now, whether you're gay, bi, pan, libertarian, or straight, you should buy my games, cause the shipping's downright great. And if you feel left out by my statement there, uh, you should buy them anyway. Damn, I really love Flair. So yeah, I guess that's me, and I'm done with this rap. I think I flowed pretty well, though my transitions were crap. Also, I'd like to say, uh, let's fight, come on. I won't let anyone hurt my boyfriend, least of all Spaggy John. That line is still so fucking hard to say. Yeah, okay. Jahan brandished his bunny at Toby, his face as neutral as ever, as if stuck in place and Toby's face as pale as pale could be, remarked. I have to use the toilet. Uh, BRB? Then Jahan turned to Trump, 
his intentions made clear. Trump's skin went beet red and his eyes filled with fear. John pulled out a space gun and covered his eyes with a dark red headband of unusual size. He grinned, his big buck teeth stretched out to the sides. I think that it's time I change up the tides. You're a pest, you're a dog, you're a bee, you're a louse. I need to do Cory inside of the house. Oh god, no. I knew this would be how it ends. At the end of my presidency, betrayed by my friends. John, please, you know me. I'm no stranger to you. But did Jahan even care? What'd that Bhutan do?